Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about a mutator in Laravel. So these are the points of the video. First of all, we will check what is mutator as in theoretically part. Then uh, we need at least a one controller and one model. And uh, after that, we will define a mutator function. And at the last, I will ask you an interview question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. Now the first question is what is mutator? So sometime you need to just update uh, your uh, data before saving it in the database. For example, you have a members table and you just want to update the name before it saving to the database. So let's say you just want to put here Mr. Bruce, right? And Mr. Peter and Mr. Sam or Mr. Anil and your user just sending from here like Bruce. So you just, you just want to add a small string like Mr with this name so that mutator will save here uh, Mr. Bruce right and let's say you just want to change the address before uh, saving it to the database so just user send the uh, any city name like Hyderabad uh, or Delhi or Gurgaon but you want to save it like uh, city name comma India right then you can just define a mutator for just adding this string city name plus India right so now let's see how we can do it first of all I need uh, to make um, a controller so just write here PHP artisan make controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is members controller member controller hit enter this is created inside uh, app http and here and we can define a function here like uh, index or something and for a moment we can just return something like uh, hello from controller or something like and now let's make a route for it so just go to the web.php uh, my bad here and just import use app and this is the path of our this controller app http controllers and uh, then we just use here a uh, member controller like this now let's make a route for it we will use the get method here and our uh, route name will be like uh, member and then in the second parameter we can use an array and just write here member controller right and just use here colon colon class because this is a class and then in the second parameter let's define the function which we defined here right and uh, now let's close it right now let's try to access it are we able to access the URL so just put here members and we are able to access it now let's uh, make a model also so just write here php artisan make model and model name so what should our model name when our database table name is members so model name should be member hit enter this is created now uh, let's go to the member controller and import it so just write here use app models and member right and uh, let's first of all let's uh, see that this is working fine or not so just simply write here member colon colon all so that we can check it out this is working fine or not and this is working fine the old results are here right so so now uh, let's see that how we can just save the data inside it i'm not going to make html form here because uh, there is a no purpose of html form it will just take uh, some time and it will make video long that's why i'm not going to use uh, any form here so just uh, make an instance of uh, this table uh, model which is a uh, member so just write here new member like this right and now just define here member 
name because we have a three field here i name email and address id is automatically updated so just write here uh, like john then uh, we can just some make a copy of it for let's say email and email address is john at the rate test dot com then address and we can just put here simply like daily right and at the last we can just use here save function right now uh, it will just save our name john and email address john at the rate test dot com and address as daily but now what i want i just want that when i just save this data to the database then there should be mr john and it should be like daily india in a database like so for that we need to define a mutator so now let's go to the members and just uh, make some mutators so we just need to simply use here a pattern for the mutators which is a uh, set oh, my bad so just first of all let's define public function set and your uh, column name so which is name attribute right and uh, let's pass a value from here and now let's uh, just uh, write here dollar this attributes and attributes name will be like name and uh, here i just want to add here dollar value which will be in our case will be john but i just want to add here like uh, mr john right so we can just give a space in like here and uh, like this and now let's define one more mutator for the address so just write here set address because now we are on the address field right and just write here address and here you can just remove this uh, front string and paste it in the last like uh, india right so after that we need to just uh, force our timestamp because in our table we don't have the address uh, create date and uh, uh, update date right so now let's uh, just simply use here public dollar time stamp is false right so everything should be fine now let's try to save it i'm just going to refresh it and uh, the data is saved we did not make any console and redirection that's why this is a white page and now let's try here what we actually got here so here you can see that we are able to add the mr john and the daily at the last of india right uh, india at the last of daily so this is the way that how just a uh, mutator can modify the data before just saving them in a database so now my question is uh, so sometime this is might possible that uh, some data may already have a mr here right so how we can identify that uh, if we have a mister then we don't need to just add the mister in the front of uh, our value in a name right so because if we just add again the mister then it will be the mister mister johan which is not an appropriate right so if already we have a mister inside this our name then we should not add anything and uh, if there is a no mister or an no any prefix then we can uh, add uh, the mister right so how we can resolve it you can answer this uh, thing in the comment box and bye bye for a moment take care and god bless you